This podcast is a proud member of the Tech Podcast Network. Visit the Tech Podcast Network at www.techpodcast.com. If it's tech, it's here. Gospel Gadget Podcast, Episode 42. Welcome, listeners, to Gospel Gadget Podcast. We want to show you what God is doing in terms of using technology to spread the gospel message all over the world and especially cross-culturally towards unreached peoples. Gospel Gadget fans, we're here for another episode in our series on Gospel Gadgets uh, that we had promised you. We started with the Pastor Box, and now we're going to uh, share with you about the Dove Stream. The Dove Stream is based on TP Link, a TP Link uh, mobile server, and uh, I'll be doing some video to show you what this little server looks like. It's a pretty exciting, similar technology to the Pastor Box, but much more portable and much more affordable. Uh, and so this unit has been very, very successfully used on the mission field to reach unreached peoples and to share gospel films made by Creator International and others uh, in a very effective way. So without further ado, let's get to me on video sharing with you this wonderful tool, the Dove Stream. Today we're going to be showing you a new gadget, just a short presentation of this. Uh, this uh, gadget uh, is made, or at least the hardware of it is made by TP-Link. Uh, so it's a TP-Link uh, model MR3040, a uh, very popular model. Uh, before I go on, I need to let you know that this model is discontinued, so there's uh, uh, probably 250 of these models out there in the mission field that are being used for evangelism right now. But basically this is what it looks like. It's very small, very tiny, can fit right in your pocket. Um, this unit, once you start, start it up, it creates its own Wi-Fi network. It doesn't need the internet, doesn't need telephone technology. It's completely independent. And uh, once it sends out that signal, any Wi-Fi enabled device can connect to it, can link to its network. And uh, then you open up a browser, any browser, to any website and the website will, the browser will automatically redirect you to the website that's inside this little device that then gives you access to all the gospel materials. I think on this unit we have about 300 gospel films in different languages and the Bible in several different languages as well. And so this is being used on the field. It's a very inexpensive device, about $65. Um, uh, as I said, it has a USB uh, connector here where you can put more films on, just unplug it, pop it into your laptop, drag the films on, plug it back in, turn it on, and away you go. And it starts to beam out a signal. So on one charge this device will last about five hours and the signal can go around a hundred meters in every direction depending on what you have blocking it as well. So this is a very good device and has been used all over. We have already shared some testimonies in past episodes about how this is being used in China, India, all over the world especially places where um, it's a little bit expensive for the average person to have a data plan. So they're always looking for Wi-Fi 
uh, networks to be able to get on to check the internet. But once they come to this device, rather than taking you to the internet, it takes you into the gospel films. So you can actually pop it in your pocket and get on a train ride, a long train ride in India, which is very common, and uh, be beaming out gospel films in Hindi during the whole time to everybody on the train. And um, so when people are looking for a Wi-Fi network, they can link to this and then get the gospel message in their language. So it's a very helpful device to add to your um, repertoire or to your toolkit in doing evangelism to unreached peoples.